is James Holder for IFL TV. I'm in Hull today. We're in Hull Town Centre, uh, City of Culture. With me, I've got MBE and Olympic, former Olympic gold medalist Luke Campbell. What's happening, Luke? Good, good. What's happening? I'm all right, I'm all right. First time in Hull, I had a little look about today. City of Culture, sell me the dream. Tell me about it. It's a nice place. Yeah? Uh, People seem it's friendly. Fantastic. It's Pe fantastic. People seem really friendly, yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, that's, a, that's a great thing about the city. They are friendly. Um, you know, a lot of people do come back and say that. But home's home. You know, I love this place. How far have you grown up away from here, from where we are now? Sorry, what was that? Oh, sorry. How far have you grown up um, from where we are today? Um, about three miles from here. Yeah? In the uh, west area. Yeah. That's where I grew up. Not far. Um... So, yeah. This will be the third time you fought in Hull as a professional boxer. Yeah. Eddie's saying about coming back here, it's a great place, he loves to visit it, the, everyone's so receptive. Could you talk to me a bit how, how you think it's going? Yeah, I think it's going great, you know, for the short period I've been professional, six, just over six months. I feel as though my progress has, has, has been good. Um, I'm happy with where I am so far. Um, and there's a lot more to come. You know, I'm, I'm starting the year now focused and knowing what I want. Last year was completely different. You know, I, was, I started boxing in April for having a year out from the Olympics, you know, and just started getting made on it there. Yeah. But now I'm starting the year fresh with my head on the ball and um, hopefully um, I can put a great performance on. Do you think that year off kind of gave you time to assess and as important boost your profile a little bit you know people getting used to your face and getting used to seeing you about on at certain events etc etc yeah definitely you know it's funny during the olympics me and anthony agogo my very good friend and, and yeah. roommate yeah. was like we're both in gold we'll retire we'll do this we'll do that <laughs> and then um you know through both having time out of the sport yeah. we knew how much we loved it and the, how much it was burning inside of me to to really want to do it and to achieve at it, you know. So I had to, I had to get back into the sport of boxing, and um, you know, with me, I'm 100% on my thing. Mm. So uh, I'm in it and loving what I do. And uh, it's good to hear. again, I want to be, I want to be the best. The promoter Eddie Earn says he's quite comfortable in stepping you up in opposition. Again, that must be a nice feeling to hear, knowing that you're going to be in some meaningful, meaningful fights. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. Yeah, no, great. You know, it's. We'll soon see what what the hype's about, won't we? You know, when I'm in these bigger fights, and you know, we'll, we'll show everyone what I'm made of. Mm. Tommy Cole spoke today about potentially wanting to be the first ever world champion of Hull. Surely you've got something to say about that, haven't you? Yeah, my what I would say about that is that I wish him all the best. Everybody's got their own path in life. Yeah. I worry about what I'm doing and where I'm going. That's a very big point. You know, I always concentrate on me. I don't think about what other people are doing mm -hmm. uh, and their journey. You know, so I wish Tommy all the best, and you know, one day I hope he, I hope he does get there. But I think about what I'm doing, the tasks, what I've got to get to get there, and that's that's all I think about. May I ask you what goals you've set for yourself for 2014? The goals I've set is just, um, I'm, well, I'm straight away I'm going into an eight rounder in the fifth fight. Mm -hmm. um, that's on the 22nd of February, isn't it? That's on the 22nd of February. So uh, has your opponent I'm, been named? Sorry to interrupt um, you. Yeah, I think it has, but uh, Eddie mentioned his name, but I don't know what it is. That's quite bad, that, isn't it? No, bear with me. I, I only bear just found me. out myself yeah. about 20 minutes ago. So, okay. Um, so I'm not, I'm not quite sure it's but my team knows it. Yeah, yeah. I just focus on what I'm doing in the gym, getting everything right that I need to get right. So. Last question, Where, what would be your goals for 2014? Where do you want to be come the end of this year? Well, I want to be in a better place where I am now. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I will still want to be unbeaten. Yeah. And I want to be more well known in the boxing industry. And putting bums on seats and exciting them every time I get in that ring. Yeah. What's the response of the people of Hull like when, when they kind of see you in the street and stuff? Fantastic. You know, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. We've got now but good words to say and support, which is, which is priceless. You can't buy that. Very important, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's very important for, for what we do in this game. And, you know, I can't be... I can't be any more honoured than what I am just to receive that. Um, but hopefully one day I can make that fully nationally in the boxing world. 
Listen, Luke, I'm not going to take up too much time. As I said, I think you're a great ambassador for the sport, even Thank at you. the young age you are. I think you speak very well. And yeah, I look forward to watching your pro journey and see how you progress. You know? Thank you very much. This is James Holder, Luke Campbell for IFL TV. Thank you. Cheers.